and I'm here with a quick video, I hope, on how to size fabric for your Cricut in Design Space. I don't know if you've met the Cricut Maker yet, but it's a whole new ball game as far as cutting fabric. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But I digress. Any, any Cricut that uses Design Space can use this technique to cut its fabric and to cut it accurately. I've been playing with it since uh, an acquaintance on the Cricut Maker Forum contacted me about uh, a technique using a sizing square. My previous videos have been uh, employed, I should say, a fairly complicated math and some adjustments that a lot of people may not be comfortable with, and I'm aware of that. I think this is really going to simplify things tremendously. Right now I'm in Stitch Artist Anyone, one, two, or three, and I have created a an applique heart that I want the fabric, the pink fabric, to be cut on my Cricut. So how am I going to get this in at the right size? If you've experienced taking the SVGs from Design, I'm sorry, from Embrilliance Software Stitch Artist into Design Space, you know that it comes in really, really big. Um, they're working on it, but at this point, there has to be a couple workarounds. And this is, I think, going to be one that's very valuable. So thanks to Kay Hall again for suggesting this. I thought, like I said, I thought about it, just hadn't done it. What am I going to do? In the Create Design menu, now this, I have to say before I begin, this is a 3 inch by 3 inch heart. And I think that's going to be really important when we get to design space. I am going to go to my outlines. And under Embrilliance Outlines, I'm simply going to bring in a square. Just a plain old square. And say OK. Now this square is a little large for my purposes, but I'm going to move it up here. And now I'm going to <clears throat> apply applique. Yes, you heard me right. Apply applique. There's a reason. <coughs> Sorry about that. And I am going to go to my Create menu. And I'm going to size this down to one inch by one inch. I should have, <clears throat> backing up, I should have locked my box. And then I would have only had to have put, punched in. Well, that, that didn't work. Unlock my box, punch it in. With this little box, OK, now it will size proportionally. My lockbox closed. Let me do that again. My lockbox is closed, and I've got one inch by one inch square. And I'm going to move it up away from my applique. And now I'm going to go over to my colors panel down here, and I'm just going to select one of the, the fabric mm -hmm. images. And I get the thread palette that pops up in Stitch Artist. Select applique. And I am going to save all right here. Under cutting, save all. And that will allow me to save it as an SVG file, uh, several different types of files. And I'm going to size it or save it as Cricut Size B because I've been playing. And I'm going to save it someplace where I can find it, which is my desktop. Very cluttered desktop, but it's still my desktop. So now I'm ready to go to my Design Space software. Just as a quick review, I have my applique, which is 3 inches by 3 inches. I have my Design Space, or my cutting square, which is 1 inch by 1 inch. And I have my, it kept for sizing purposes, my little lockbox locked. And I'll meet you at Design Space. I have opened a new project in Cricut Design Space, and now I'm going to upload my SVG that I created for applique in my Stitch Artist software. So I'm going to go to my left-hand toolbar and select Upload. And I'm going to, under Images, I'm going to upload my image. And it's on my desktop, so it's Cricut Size B. And I'm going to choose. And I will save those two images, select them. They show up in my lower ribbon down here. Insert image into design space. Um, see what I mean? It comes in huge. Over here on my layers panel, I have my square and I have my heart. 
But this is Kay's trick, and it's really, it's brilliant. You hide the heart by selecting, you don't have to ungroup or anything, by selecting the eyeball. And now I'm going to select my square, and I'm going to size it to one inch. And I have a one inch square. Now let's open, visualize my heart again, turn off my square, hide it, and my heart is three inches by three inches. That's exactly what I wanted it to be. I have to thank Kay for this. I wish it was mine. It's not. If I'm going to cut, I can save this image now. I can ungroup, ungroup, and I can actually get rid of that sizing square. And there's my heart ready to be at, cut for applique. I hope this gives you an easy, quick workaround and that you fall in love with design space and fabric all over again. Until next time, bye.